I can't tell you what it's like to see a tank through a scope. It was close too. We fired with everything we had. At first, we hit them with armor pissing shells. He shot me in the side. He hit me exactly on the side where I was sitting. Yes, it was scary, very scary. But I think we did a good job. In this episode, we will watch and analyze the epic battle in which the Ukrainian Bradley crew destroyed the latest Russian T-90M tank. Most importantly, the Ukrainian soldiers who participated in the battle will tell you how they managed to do it. In addition, we will show you other examples of Bradley battles and you will find out whether it is really so resilient. By the way, Putin called the Prorov tank the best tank in the world. And allegedly, when it appears on the battlefield, the enemy simply runs away. But as you can imagine, this was before the full-scale war with the Ukrainians. So the American IFV Bradley versus the Russian T-90M Prorov tank. World experts are already studying this battle by the minute. There is a T-90 in the middle of the road, and the Bradley moves right up to it and opens fire. The distance is no more than 150 meters. Not everyone is capable of such audacity. These two soldiers of the 47th Separate Mechanized Brigade, Commander and Gunner Bradley Serhi and Driver Mechanic Oleksandr, went to attack one of the best Russian tanks. It was the first time they had seen the enemy tank up close. I thought my heart would jump out of my chest. This was only their second joint combat mission. Serhii had just returned from a training in Germany in December. This is the area of the village Stivpov in the Avdivka direction. The video shows Bradley turning, driving toward the enemy vehicles, and immediately opening fire. They were shooting from a 25 caliber cannon. Let's take another look at this bold and even crazy attack. Because, as it seemed, the armored vehicle had no chance against such a tank. Pay attention to the precision shooting and quick maneuvers of the Ukrainians. You will find out why they decided to fight this battle a little later. We fired with everything we had. At first, we hit them with an armor-piercing shells, and then we had difficulties with them. At that moment, I remembered everything, both training and computer games. I remembered how to hit and where to hit those tanks. I just had to stop them at any cost. Because of the problems with the armor-piercing ones, I just started to make him blind so he wouldn't leave. And he succeeded. Sirhi destroyed the tank's vision and control devices. The T-90's turret is spinning in all directions. The enemy crew is disoriented and the tank crashes into a tree. Here's another angle, taken by another drone, that shows the Russian tank getting dizzy and completely out of control. Then, Ukrainian FPV drone pilots finish off the tank. Good job. A direct hit, after which the tank rolls back. The enemy crew jumps out of it and tries to hide. A little later, two of them will be eliminated and one will surrender. The tank is finished. Alexander got on the Bradley after a regular car. He used to be a driver in a supply battalion. What did you drive before? A regular car and a truck. Did you switch from a car to the Bradley? Yes, after the training. I would say that he is the most important one, even though I am the commander, because if he doesn't get us in and out, it will be disaster. Sir, he was a stormtrooper in the Zaporizhia direction. After being wounded, he was sent to take over the Bradley. That day, their combat vehicle moved to support the infantry. We knew we were going to help our guys in the trenches. That tank was going to attack them. So we had to go, even though we realized that we were taking a risk. Yes, it was scary, very scary. But I think we did a good job. The Bradley is designed for combat, support, and transportation of infantry. Here is one example when Bradley had to enter the battle to support the infantry with fire. The Ukrainian position, also near the village of Stipo, was being stormed by Russian troops using several armored personnel carriers. That's when Bradley's team took over. First, they shot down one and then another armored personnel carrier the occupiers. Just look how he dismantles the enemy APC for scrap metal. The 
Russian attack was successfully repelled. One of the main advantages of Bradley is the protection of the crew. Volodymyr has something to compare to it. He used to ride a Soviet MTLB, also known as Motolaga. The MTLB is a tin can that even a simple machine gun can pierce. And on the Bradley, even when a shell explodes close to us, even literally a meter away, we only feel the jolts. There are special plates here that extinguish the flame and take the entire impact on themselves, not letting it get inside. And in this video, you can see once again how the 25mm Bradley cannon works. It simply disassembles and destroys Russian positions along the entire line. The infantry fighting vehicle is also shown its durability. The American IFV withstood the arrival of an anti-tank missile system. Now you can see how it hits. But Bradley resisted, turned around and drove back calmly. A soldier with the 47th Separate Mechanized Brigade, who works on Bradley, shared his impressions of this moment when the Russians tried to destroy the armored vehicle. The orcs in this area are crazy. When we drove up under the trench, they thought they could destroy Bradley with a machine gun. Where were they shooting from? Who saw? Are they shooting at Bradley? They started shooting with a machine gun, but they didn't succeed. Then one of the scumbags took an RPG and shot me in the side. He hit me exactly on the side where I was sitting. The armored vehicle has withstood the impact. Everything is fine. There is some damage, but all the targets and even the vehicle are on the move. I didn't even feel the explosion. I just said on the air, guys, we were hit. The crew laughed and asked, can we go? Yes, we can, and we left. But let's get back to our main characters. They really want to catch us. This is a dangerous technique for them. Thanks to it, we have destroyed many enemies, and we will continue to do so if they do not leave. This is a mobile Bradley repair station that the guys deployed here in the Avdivka sector to save combat vehicles returning from combat. A mine exploded near this combat vehicle. The Bradley was hit by shrapnel. The crew remained unharmed. There is a hit here. Also here, traces of shrapnel. Armored vehicles arrive here, and our team, like mechanics in Formula One, quickly repair them, like race car on the pit stop. We repair them quickly so the guys can return to a combat mission as soon as possible. To repair American equipment, these guys also went to Germany to study. We need to replace this part. This one was unscrewed, and the other Bradley needs to be done the same way. In general, Bradley was the mostly used in warm countries. The Gulf War, Syria, Operation Desert Shield in Saudi Arabia. Ukrainian frost, as this mechanic admits, add to their work. So, after all, American equipment is not designed for Ukrainian frost? No, it's not. To be honest, not really. Serhii is watching the video of his encounter with the Russian tank once again. He would like to take a vacation to finally marry his beloved. I hope that I will be given a leave of absence for this destroyed tank so that I can officially get married. Didn't they give you one? Not yet, but I believe it will happen. In the meantime, he and his comrade in arms are preparing for another combat mission. If you were interested in today's episode and would like me to continue doing episodes like this next, then let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment. You can support the author by the details in the description. Thank you.